Welcome back to Tales from the World's Firesides. I'm Clive Gilson, the story guy, and today I'm telling a traditional Romanian folk tale called The Old Woman and the Old Man. I've adapted this tale from an original story uh, collected by Mighty Kremnitz in Romanian Fairy Tales, published in 1885 by Henry Holt and Company. This particular tale appears in my book Tales from the Land of the Strigoi, which contains around 35 traditional Romanian legends and folk tales. As ever, my main aim is to tell stories that might otherwise be forgotten uh, or lost to modern readers, particularly outside of the originating cultures. Tales that help us to, to share those cultures and maybe make the world a little less complex. Anyway, let's get on with the story. The Old Woman and the Old Man once upon a time there was an old man and an old woman who had not a single child uh, in their old age to look after them and it was very hard for them because they had no help, not even to light the fire. When they came home from working in the fields they were obliged to begin with lighting the fire themselves and then preparing their own food. One day, when they were fretting and consulting each other, they determined to look for children, whatever might happen. The old man went one way, and the old woman another, to find a child somewhere. The old man met a dog, while the old woman met a mouse. When they met again, the old woman asked, Husband, what have you found? Well, a little dog, a new wife. Why, a little mouse. They now agreed to adopt the mouse for a child, and drive the dog away, so the couple then returned home with the mouse, greatly delighted, because they had found what they sought, and that is, a child. On reaching home, the old woman began to make a fire. Then she set the pot of sour buttermilk on to boil, and left the mouse to watch it, so that the pot did not fall over while she went to work with the old man in the fields. After she had gone, the porridge boiled and splashed over the top of the pot, and the mouse, which was sitting on the hearth, said, Porridge, don't jump on me, or I'll jump on you. But the buttermilk did not stop, and still splashed over the brim, and when the mouse saw this, it grew angry and leapt straight into the pot. When the old people returned from hoeing, and called their child, there was no child to be found. After searching for it a long time without success, they sat sadly down to eat their dinner. Yet they ate the porridge with great relish, until, when the old woman emptied the dish, she found at the bottom of it the little mouse, their child, quite dead. And she began, husband, husband, here it is, our child is drowned in the buttermilk. Well, how is that possible, wife, replied the bearded old fellow. And when they saw this terrible accident, they both began to weep and lament bitterly. The old man, in his grief, tore his beard, and the old woman pulled the hair right out of her head. The old man left the house with tearful eyes and a tussled beard, and on the bough of a tree in front of the hut there perched a magpie, which, seeing him, asked, Why have you pulled out your beard, old man? Oh, my dear bird, how can I help tearing my beard when my little child has drowned itself in the pot of porridge and is dead? When the magpie heard this, it too tore out all its feathers, leaving nothing but the tail. The old woman set off with her bald head to the well to get a jug of water to wash the dead body of her child. By the well stood a girl with a pitcher who had come to draw water, and when she saw the old woman she asked, My, old woman, why have you torn the hair out of your head till you are perfectly bald? Oh, alas, my darling, how can I help but tear my hair and make myself bald? when my little mouse is dead. The girl, 
In her grief, smashed her pitcher in two, and then she hurried to the Empress to tell her the story. The royal lady, as soon as she heard it, fell down from the balcony, broke her ankle, and died, while the Emperor, out of love for his wife, went away and became a monk in the Monastery of Lies, beyond the country of truth, while I, acquaintance made with grandsires old, to whom this simple tale I told, it seemed to them such perfect chaff that its bare memory raised a laugh. Okay, that's the story of the old woman and the old man. Uh, it's one of my favourites from the, the Romanian collection, and it's certainly a cherished part of Romanian folklore, particularly for its blend of, of humour, wisdom, satire, and moral depth. Its enduring popularity, I think, is a testament to the way it captures those sort of universal human experiences, particularly through the lens of, of Romanian culture. If you've enjoyed the story, you can find out more about me, Clive Gilson, the story guy, and the Tales from the World's Firesides project at clivegilson.com. Uh, and there are also dedicated Facebook and YouTube channels indicated at the, uh, in the banner at the bottom of the screen. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. It always helps keep these stories front and centre. Uh, and please do follow or subscribe to these channels. There's loads of stories up there already, and there's new stuff pretty much every week. Well, that's it for now, though. Uh, so until next time, keep reading, keep listening, keep uh, watching, and uh, stay inspired. Thank you.